Yo, 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 what is up, you guys? Apex Boom, welcome back to a Revive series. Here we have the Task Setup series. Now, this is brought back through the popular demand, and you guys want this, so here it is. This is yet one of many new series that I have coming to this channel, or in this case, coming back to this channel. So, we'll get it right into it. You want to go over here to create your task. We're going to hypothetically be using Kith. But as you guys know, a lot of the times, many bots will not work with keywords on Kith. You need an early link. You can get that excuse me you can get the early link from your cook group now let's go with keywords as you guys know we're going for the a6 atmos sean water spoon gel light threes that are dropping tomorrow so for keywords we're going to do a6 atmos water spoon comma now we're going to do a comma because this is what's going to give you a new set of keywords so if one keyword well so if one set of keywords does not work it tries another set so for this set, we're going to do A6, Atmos, Sean. And for the last one, we'll do Atmos. Oops. Actually, we'll do A6, Atmos, Water Spoon, Jail. Now, I would strongly suggest getting your keywords from your bot discord group or your cook group. That way they're more they're more accurate. Now, you can use these if you want to, but if you want like if you don't want to risk picking up the wrong product, which I still doubt that you will pick up the wrong product with these, but still just to be more accurate, I would suggest strongly suggest going with your cook group or bot discord groups keywords. Now that we have that out of the way, out of the way, we're gonna go over here to our task mode. Now, of course, whenever there's a hyped up drop, you wanna select Cyborg 3.0 or whatever type of anti-bot task mode that your bot supports because they do not want bots to win. They're gonna have as much security as possible, especially on hyped up releases. So we're gonna go with Cyborg 3.0. That is the anti-bot measure for uh, Shopify, for NSB users. For size, typically I, I, I leave this blank um i pick up a random size it doesn't really matter to me all sizes are profitable at the end of the day number of tasks i leave that blank it's going to just create one task anyways now for proxies shopify you never want to use proxies you can but the things the only type of proxies that are really effective are isp proxies if shopify allows them because as you know they they pretty much throttle every type of proxy there is um besides residential proxies so for me no proxies are your best friend because they're your local IP. You cannot get banned. That is pretty much all that works effectively in my opinion. So we're going to keep that going with no proxy. No proxy. And for your task, we're going to use one profile. As you guys know, when you try to call multiples from Shopify, it's a little bit harder. You can get some to, to, to stick sometimes, but a lot of the times, you really, unless you want to call multiples, you really need literally separate billing addresses like in different locations because they cancel so hard. So you have to be very, very careful with that when you're trying to go for multiple. So typically I just stick with one, with just with one profile because that's all I really need. And plus it conveniences me because the more I can make things more optimized and efficient when solving caption and all the good stuff, the better for me and the higher up chances I have to cop. Now, as you guys can see, we have advanced settings mode checked like that. So you wanna have that checked and we're gonna set our delays to 10,000 10, milliseconds starting off. And you wanna wanna start your task five minutes beforehand five minutes beforehand and you want to drop your delays one minute to 30 seconds before the drop goes live to 2600 milliseconds or something a little bit higher than that that you're comfortable with like 3000 3500 2800 you know whatever you know whatever number you're comfortable with i'm comfortable with 2600 so that's what i'm going to be using a lot of the times i use share of monitor i click that off i don't need it because hypothetically let's say uh kith dropped uh fake stock at 3 a.m in the morning um, just a load of the product or something like that. And your bot, you, you're not gonna know it cause you're gonna be asleep, but your bot is constantly trying to check out, wait for restock and all this other stuff. And you could almost eventually get banned, you never know. So to prevent that from happening, I always just use no monitor, no monitor, no monitor, never for hyped up releases. You do not need to log in with Kith. You do for undefeated, but never Kith. So do not worry about that. If you guys need information on these type of things, like on what sites are dropping and things of that nature, um spoiler maybe another series on that but for the most part for right now um look for your cook groups for that information or even your bot discord groups as well for that information all right now that we have that all out of the way uh schedule tasks you don't need to do that 
make sure you're up punctual on time for the drop um what you want to go ahead and do now is submit and press yup now that's just one task we have one more job that needs to be done and that is setting up a checkout link now in order for this to work efficiently in my opinion um i would strongly suggest that you guys have your discord web hook and put it into the bot so that way when it attempts to check out it sends you the checkout link via discord and you can attempt to check out manually as soon as possible now this is just a scenario for as you guys know shopify has been whooping bots tails the past two and a half three weeks when it comes to shopify wait did i okay anyways shopify has basically been winning the past two and a half three weeks so i figured you know some things to try to work around that way is maybe use that hypothetically a checkout link to see if it works so go ahead and hit submit again and boom so you guys remember this right here this is your anti-bot measure right here start your task this one right here is going to attempt to check out all the way via bot this one right here is going to attempt to check out and once it's once it gets almost done checking out it will send you the checkout link so you can just go ahead and patch things up and finish off hopefully and this is just a backup this is a backup method just in case you end up getting your proxy blocked or anti-bot is too strong and the bot can't handle it so this is just your backup just in case things end up going wrong but um yeah you guys that's pretty much it remember start your task five minutes beforehand with a 10,000 millisecond delay drop them drop your delays uh about one minute, 30 seconds before the drop goes live, 2,600 milliseconds or 30,000 30, milliseconds, I'm sorry, 3,000 milliseconds, 3,500 milliseconds, whatever you guys are comfortable with. <laughs> now you can use your monitor. You can always just have that on in the background. Always have it on in the background because you never know. Some other sites could hypothetically shock drop these because you just don't know. But a lot of the times for me, if it's not Kith, undefeated concepts or dsm which are mainly the primary sites always dropped in hyped up shoes i don't too much worry about trying to actually come here and put in keywords to monitor all sites because that's just too much and you may end up running the risk of checking out some random stuff because you just don't know some of these some of these sites literally <laughs> try to set up bots because they know that they're monitoring the pages and they'll just put the freaking uh put the name of the shoe and it will be like a piece of paper or something so basically like you paid two hundred dollars for a piece of paper because they know that bots are literally actively monitoring their site for when uh they drop stock but yeah you guys hope you guys enjoyed this task setup video um like i said in my last series this is not the definite way it's gonna go um the more episodes that come out um the more shape the series will take it's gonna definitely change it's not the definite official format but yeah you guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you learned something or if you found it helpful please leave a like comment below subscribe i will catch you guys next time deuces